Sports with Pete Byrne. I can't remember a time where a ticket was this hard to get for Notre Dame basketball. In a scene outside that looked a whole lot more like a home football game, fans were lined up in droves outside the arena just hoping for a chance to get inside to watch number eight Notre Dame take on number four Duke tonight. The ones that got in certainly did not go home disappointed. The arena was packed and loud, and much like a typical prize fight, the heavyweights spend the opening minutes trading blows. First at Zach August, who finds a seam and throws it down for Notre Dame. Then on the other end, Duke's fab freshman Jaleel Okafor, the monster finish, game tied at 18. Jaron Grant had a big night for the Irish. Way behind the three-point line here, but that doesn't stop him from knocking it down, part of a 7-0 Irish run. For the first time tonight, Notre Dame has the momentum. It would not last. Okafor's turn again. Makes a move inside and scores. That young man, just 19 years old, but he is ready for the NBA right now. Duke led by three points, 39-36 at halftime. Duke shot the ball tremendously well from the outside tonight. Justice Winslow knocks down the three. Part of a 7-0 run for Duke early in the second half, and Duke had a 10-point lead. But Notre Dame has been in this spot plenty of times this year. And they rise to the challenge tonight. Demetrius Jackson knocks down the three. That cuts the deficit to four. Later, Jaron Grant cuts down the lane and scores. A 12-0 run, and the Irish have taken the lead. Final minutes now. Clinging to a one-point edge, Jaron Grant hits the ridiculous shot. Irish up by three. Grant had 23 points and 12 assists on the night. And then, in the final seconds, Steve Vistoria from the corner with a final nail in the coffin as Notre Dame beats Duke tonight. 77 73. Two really good teams going at it. Um, told my team after the game, down 10, you got them right where you want them, don't you, fellas? Thanks a lot. Thanks for doing that to me again. We make a habit of it, but um, proud of our group. I think we continue to get better. It's February and we're still getting better. Well, we have tough kids, they have tough kids. I mean, that's why we're both good teams. And uh, our coach has something to do with that, but. I would like to give the players on both teams more credit. Just, just to be a part of a game like this is a blessing. Um, these are the games you watch growing up as a young kid. So uh, just to be a part of it, you know, really blessed. Um, and, th and then to win it, uh, it's a big step for our program going forward. No doubt Notre Dame's best start in four decades continues as they improved to 20-2. and two. The Irish are the first team in the ACC to reach the 20-win plateau this season.